rocking back and forth and condensation is in the window and they're saying, what is our plan? What are we going to do? So they thought they'd just open the door and the bear would run out. But the van was on such an angle that the door would slam on its own. So that was not going to help. He put the window down. Alex, he's putting the window down. Alex. Let's go in. Let's go in. Okay. Here it comes. Okay, okay. The bear saunters off, and we're thinking that's the end of it. Go on. He's huge. I go into the kitchen and I see three banks of doors open and the top one pulled down. And I'm perplexed. It's so odd, I never thought it was a bear. So I saw big water marks on the floor and things like that. And then I went, oh my goodness, it was the bear. He could still be here. And that's when my husband went around the, into the mudroom in the garage and saw him munching on the muffin mix. I really felt sorry for him. I kind of sad at that point. He's just being a bear. He's just doing what he does, looking for food. And all of our, you know, the housing development going on here in 